Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for joining today. Today is Wednesday, August the 5th, and we are going through uh, some ideas and kind of brainstorming together um, what, uh, what are some ideas that we can use to use videos to really grow and promote our business. So thank you for joining. And so because you're here, I'm assuming that you'll be interested in doing more videos for your business. Have you guys start, done videos before? I just started. I did a live the other day in an event. I think I told you, but yeah. I got an the item that I was promoting the amazing. same day. That's amazing. And what was that item? The pineapple pour. I demonstrated how to use it. Okay. That's so cool. They, or they only ordered that, but I mean, going live has really helped. That's very cool. That's very cool. Relationships with people. Mm -hmm. That way they get to know you. And you said that you did it in an event? Yeah, I think I put you in there. But yeah, no, okay, so you did an event and you did a live and you got immediate results out of it. So yay, that's awesome. Hi, Leanne, have, you've, you've done a couple of videos too, haven't you? I remember you did a boomerang. No, I haven't. And I am petrified. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> so we can talk about that. We can talk through that. Uh, but no, I remember seeing you do a lipstick one. You did like a do, do, do or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, that was just one of those um, boomerangs or whatever, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a boomerang. It was a boomerang. So that's I'm awesome. working my way up slowly. <laughs> that's amazing. No, that's great. A boomerang is a really great way to, st like, a good place to start. And it's so just, like, little, um, like, what were those called? Were they called, like, vines? Were they, like, 15-second clips or two-second clips or stuff? Something like that. I can't remember. I find if you go out of your comfort zone a little, it helps to grow your business. Okay, definitely. You can start with like just videos that you record and then post if you're more comfortable with that. Mm -hmm, for sure. It really is about starting somewhere and kind of jumping in and yeah. continuing to grow your your comfort and to expand your comfort zone. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. don't do what I did. Take eight years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, did I ever share that with you guys? It took me eight years. I made one video, and then I didn't do it. I don't know if it was eight years, but like I did one video, and then I didn't post up another video on YouTube for I think between six to eight years or something like something is like that. Your first one. <laughs> yeah, it was about um, earning a trip to Barbados, right? And uh, and Mary just joined us, ladies. This is Mary. She she just joined with us last night. <laughs> Hi. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I just really needed to kind of jump out of that comfort zone just to kind of like get my get my butt in here. And when I review back my my initial videos from when I relaunched the channel, they they're interesting, and that's okay because we grow, right? So I think starting off with the boomerangs, starting off with Facebook Live. I mean, I find Facebook Live so much scarier than YouTube videos. Because I can't edit. <laughs> I can't edit at all. Oh, somebody has to that shows the, the real you, though, when you do it that way. Hi. Or just, oh, hi! Let's start talking about the different types of videos that we can use. Because, I mean, honestly, videos, they are, like, the king or the queen of marketing in, in my mind like people get a lot out of videos and I've, I've seen a lot of results from doing videos um and again andrea can, can, can testify that she got immediate results from doing one facebook live video she already sold uh, a pineapple core and that was the product she was demonstrating so um let's talk about different types of videos and the length of videos i did a little bit of research last night and um if you guys were to start doing videos what type of videos would you want to do like, did you want to pre-record and edit? Do you want to do a live? Did you want to do like a, like little clips, boomerangs? I wanted to try doing a YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. What kind of YouTube video? That's the thing I don't know because, I mean, people say you can brand yourself and it doesn't have to be about products every time. Just you can talk about anything. Mm-hmm. But that's the problem I'm having because I want to brand myself and build relationships with people by them getting to know me, not just for selling things. Mm -hmm. Do you know? I yeah. do. I do. Um, and I think there is a time. May I give you my input on that? Please. <laughs> so I, I think that, and I used to try to do that on YouTube um, where I had such a broad 
um, a broad scope of topics I would cover. Like I would cover dance, I'd cover Avon, I would cover life stories. I'd talk about Ginevra growing up. I'd talk about, you know, my physiotherapy and, and blah, blah. So there's definitely a lot of different topics I was touching base on. And the channel grew, but it grew at a much slower rate. Anne's coming on. Yay. So I used to have such like a really, really broad topic. And with certain things I noticed that I wouldn't get a lot of traction on and then I would get a lot of traction on certain things but it kind of I felt like it kind of on YouTube it would kind of confuse the viewers a little bit because they're going on they're not quite sure what they're seeing and what your channel is about so I feel like for YouTube it is finding that niche and every now and then do a plug-in of something else that you're also passionate about right at least that's my that's my that's my thought process and on it so whether it be um, like I mean for example, my channel, The Dancing Avon Lady. So by reading that title, you know that, oh, you talk about dance and Avon, right? And every now and then, like maybe doing a get ready with me, I'll do a little plug in on, oh, y'all, you know, well, life is like blah, blah, blah. But if you want to follow more about my life, make sure you also connect with me on Instagram at the same name, or you check out my vlog channel, right? Which I haven't done a lot with. But um, there's, there's that. If you want to try it, go for it. I mean, you, maybe I did something a little bit weird at the beginning and I just didn't have a lot of success out of it. Um, but you, whatever you do, it, I think it is something that you just have to be really comfortable doing and, and um, makes you happy doing it, right? And Andrea, if you want to talk more about that one-on-one -on -one during, during a one-on-one, -on -one, by all means, we definitely do that. Kathy, you do a lot of uh, Facebook videos. Yeah, I do. Actually, I quite enjoy it. Um, yeah. what I was thinking, I would love to come up with like a, a commercial, Ooh. you know, like an actual commercial, commercial, like uh, maybe I'm cleaning in the kitchen and my husband comes in and says, Oh, what's that smell? It smells so nice. And I'd say, Oh, it's a, uh, how do you pronounce it? Kachina? It's my Kachina cleaning solutions. <laughs> and you know, like I'll just do like a commercial like you do on TV. I, I think that might be kind of fun. That is fun. That's really I'd like to, to try it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. And that's really creative. Like yeah, really, really it. creative. I've been thinking about that for a while. Just got to know how to put it together, you know? And your husband's on board to do it? He would film it, but he doesn't want to be on it. But we can have his voice, right? That's like my guy. <laughs> if you guys watched my drew, was no my, my blush one you can see nelson crawling on the floor at the i know that was so funny and you know what the next day here i was doing one my husband and he was coming down and i could hear him coming and i said don't come down i'm doing a video but i i don't know if you never heard me he came down he had no shirt on and he, and <laughs> he looking at the camera and he spoiled that video i had to get rid of it so i had him oh. go and look at yours and he goes oh, oh what does man have to go through that's so funny that's awesome yeah i mean like the thing with videos is also um just having a lot of fun with it right it just it keeps things yeah. really interesting keeping it really fresh leanne you said that you're 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 kind of nervous about doing videos do you want are you comfortable sharing why you're nervous i have no idea it's just something i've always had i've been in several movies in my life as an extra Ooh. and wow. I can't even go back to watch <laughs> my parts in certain films and whatnot it's just a it's an anxiety I have I don't know it's weird I just don't it's like when you're you hear your voice on you know the answering machine or whatever it's just it sounds different and you just I don't know I don't like it I have to get comfortable with it obviously but yeah I you feel like that I used to be like that long ago. Really? Yeah, long mm -hmm. ago. Like, what had happened, what brought me out of my shell is uh, my husband had me join his band, his rock and roll band. So I sing uh, backup in the background, and I've kind of gotten more used to hearing my voice and stuff like that. But I felt okay. the same way like you. Like, oh, my God, I couldn't stand hearing myself sing. Or I couldn't stand. I still don't like seeing myself in video sometimes, but... I do it anyway. Hmm. But yeah, and it's, it does make a huge impact on, on viewers and customers and whatnot, for sure. Like, it makes things way more interesting when you can see the person and hear them. Mm -hmm. So I agree that it needs to be done. But I, like you said, I like, um, I've done a few boomerangs. So I'm working my way up slowly. Wow. If I look like you, if I look like you I'd go naked on camera. 
<laughs> and oh, that's awesome. Oh. That would be amazing. I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thank you. That's sweet of you, though. <laughs> okay, so is it? Sorry, if I may ask, um, is it more about just seeing yourself on screen that makes you a little bit nervous? Mm. Or the whole process of creating the video? I don't. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's creating because I. There's, I have so many ideas in my head and it just, it sounds exciting and I love it. Like I, I've always wanted to be in music videos and, and you know, like I'm model and whatnot, but I guess it's just viewing myself and then I'm my, I'm my biggest critic. So yeah, we, and you know what, often we really are. And I, I feel like sometimes if we just kind of, go out and just do it we just realize that you know what we it's all in our own heads like all of that 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 conversation and the and i'm not saying it's always negative but a lot of that negative conversation it's just it's all in our own head and we are actually we're doing how to say this people don't know what they don't know does that make sense so for the longest time when, when I was making videos, it was like, I was like, oh, but that's not perfect. And that's not perfect. But then I was like, oh my God, this is taking me 10 hours to edit one video. So then I just started kind of not making it as perfect and seamless and things like that. And it turned out that the viewership is just, it kept growing because people don't know what the, they don't know. Right. So just right. the most important thing is done is better than perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. All of our videos, none of it has to be perfect. It just has to A, get done, and B, mm -hmm. it just has to be different. It has to be something about it that's different, whether it be um, it, it's different type of context or a different type of content. For example, there's not a lot of Canadian content out there, guys. We do on, you, on YouTube anyways, there's not a lot of Canadian content. YouTube and Twitter, I've noticed very little Canadian content, um, like, and consistent Canadian content is what I mean um and then um and also what's different is you because when it comes down to it we are our brand we are our own brand that's affiliated with Avon so when we're marketing we're marketing really I think we're really marketing us as the brand right because honestly they can go any people can go anywhere to buy Avon but there has to be something about you that's going to attract them I think that's the most important thing Right. But I have an idea. I also have an idea about that because I know there's somebody else that doesn't like to have their, well, not saying that you don't like to have your gorgeous face on camera, but if that is something of concern, there's, there's an idea. And do you want to share? Have you done videos? Jessica. Yes, darling. You're trying to set me up, right? I never try to set you up. Why would I do it's that? You are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> never never please always come to my meetings um, 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 yeah. but you know what I was just leaving anyway so ladies have a beautiful day while Jessica oh, tries to set me up what do you want hurry, to know? <laughs> what do you want yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay how would you guys feel if I threw out a little challenge for you guys create a 30 second to 1 minute video just to introduce yourself to who you are all right, and all we'll do is we'll share it with each other. If you, and then if you want to share it publicly, do it. If you don't want to share it publicly, don't do it. But create a 30 second to one minute video. It's like, hey guys, I'm, uh, excuse me, because I can talk about me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jessica, the dancing Avon lady. You know, I'm a mom of two kids. My daughter just turned six and she loves unicorns. And my son is nine months and he, you know, loves to pull my hair. I've been with Avon for 14 years, blah, 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 blah. All right. So it just needs to be about you and just kind of introducing yourself. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. All right. What do you guys think? Are you in? That's a great Fair. idea. Amazing. Okay. I want to, uh, and let's, let's commit to have it done for <laughs> next Wednesday. How's that? A week. Yeah, sounds good. Well, that's a long time. It is a long time. I'm being really nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that too much time? Are you going to bed? Okay, fine. Monday. How should we film it, though? Like, which, just on our, our camera's video? I or always, what's the best way? I literally, I just use my phone. My phone okay. is my camera for absolutely everything. I have a DSLR camera, but because I haven't had the time to learn how to use it, I haven't used it. And if the, my phone has been good enough for now, I'm just going to keep using it until I actually have time to learn because I don't want to 
pause anything in order to keep going. You know what I mean? I don't want that to be a blockage for me. So just use your phone. My most, um, the most critical things I find with videos, good lighting. So the lighting right now that I have sucks because I'm darker here and then it's lighter at the back. So this is not optimal lighting. All right. What Kathy has is great lighting. Her face is lit up. It's beautiful. All right. You can see her, like her gorgeous blue eyes. Amazing. Okay. So you want to think of lighting. And the other thing you want to think about is also your audio. So you do want to have it so that it is like as little background noise as possible. I know it's hard if you have like, you know, animals, pets, kids, or you live on a really busy street, but as little audio as possible. Uh, Andrew, I'll be right there. Um, and so those are the two main things. The other thing is, my third tip for videos, and I learned this from one of my friends, is angle. If you angle down here, it's not as flattering. If you angle like this way, it's, it looks, and, and you're looking down at your camera, it's also, it feels a little bit more imposing. You want to appear friendly. So usually something a little bit face level and then a little bit higher and then point the camera down is usually the most flattering angle for most people. Okay? Andrea, yes, what's up? I wanted to say uh, a ring light would help with the lighting, too. Yes. Leanne got a ring light. Where do you get them? Amazon. Oh, are they expensive? Maybe 15 bucks or less. And it just clips yeah. onto your phone. Or oh, your Leanne? Do you, yeah. Do you have your, your ring light handy that you can just kind of show us? No, I don't. I'm not at home, but I do have a picture of it. Mm. Okay. On my phone, I could send it to you after. It's from, um, actually, one of my team members also sells Gel Moment. Okay. And they sell it for $25. It's pink, oh. and it's got um, three different options of lighting, cool, warm, mixed, and different, you know, low to high setting, and it holds your phone at the same time. So it's the, oh, the best. And, but it's not, it needs charging. See what it is? Oh, cool. Andrea has one. Yeah, but you have to just charge it. Oh, okay. It and, but it's got a little clip. Oh, okay. Clip it on. Very cool. Interesting. And you can angle it looking down? Yeah, you can make it whatever way you want as long as it's clipped to your device. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know they also, like, they sell it on Amazon as well. Um, I know one of our other team members, Jessica, she bought one for something, like, around, like, 20 to $30. Yeah. So they're not, they're, they're not too expensive. Natural lighting is often really, really good. Um, yeah, especially if you're doing makeup posts, because ideally you'll be in natural light when people see your face. So you want to show what, what things would look like with natural lighting. Right. Um, okay. Now... For our somewhat camera shy friends who may or may not be on this video meeting right now, I want to share something with you guys. So I don't know who this person is at all. Um, she is, uh, like, I've never collabed with her at all, but I was doing some research about um, Canadian YouTubers, and she came up, and she her channel is really interesting. Apparently, she never shows her face full on ever wow in any of her videos she has over 3,000 subscribers so she's doing something right I haven't had a chance to really look through her videos um it was just talked about in another youtuber that I watch and um so she never shows her face so if you're not comfortable showing your face check this look check out her channel and take a look at you know what are some of her tactics it's like what are her um not tactics but you guys know what I mean right like her 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 ways of doing it <laughs> <laughs> and um, that way, um, that way you can, you know, get just get some ideas, right? I know that she does a lot of swatches, um, yeah, and she does like a lot of outdoor things from what I from what I've heard and things. But yeah, so check I her out. She can make it quite unique too, wearing masks or who knows yeah. what. You could really, and that's probably why she has all the followers because it's so different and mm -hmm. unique. Her profile with her, you know. The back of her head showing that it's, exactly that's quite different and unique and that's what's important yeah exactly and and the thing and she's a beauty blogger a beauty blogger who doesn't show her face like how interesting is that right it's very different and now because of all the masks that we have to wear you could totally just do what and just do like a tutorial on eyes 
right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's an idea. <laughs> my ring light on. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. Oh, it's much better already. Yeah, it definitely is much better. The Little Makeup Channel, check her out um, and see whether or not that is something you guys are interested in doing. Especially you guys all have wonderful, sultry, sexy voices. <laughs> and um, yeah, now the other thing is Leanne, because you're also fluent in French, you can even do segments in pure French. Wow, that's awesome. Right, because yeah. I, I don't think there's a lot of French Canadian Avon um, uh, material like uh, content out there either. Right. Yeah, I would definitely is, have to like I'm I don't know if I'm fluent fluent I could read it I could speak it but coming up on the spot with a whole bunch of French content might not happen. I would oh. have to definitely you know have a script that I read or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah. But definitely, yeah, I guess that is an option too, for sure. Cool. Okay. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I mean, and if you guys are comfortable having a script, use a script, right? I mean, it's whatever your comfort level is. Right? If, if you love scripts, use scripts. If you just need post, like, little point forms, use point forms. If you want, like to ad-lib and improvise everything, ad-lib and improvise everything. It's whatever your comfortable is and because that is who you are. And I think that's also one of the most important things is that this way is the way that your clients really get to know who you are, right? Um, yeah. Now, are you guys okay if we chat a little bit about the types of videos and the length of videos? Okay. I just kind of came along to this last night, and um, it's about the length of videos. Now, it de really does depend on what platform you're using that will dictate how long your video should be. I personally, I, I tend to do really long videos only because I talk so much and some of it is unnecessary. Um, but I still do it anyways, because again, that's genuinely who I am. I talk forever. So, but they say that a lot of the times videos should be about two, three minutes in length because a lot of viewership does drop after about two and a half minutes unless you have something really captivating. Now some strategies to get around that is at the very beginning for your intro to your video, you could you could kind of do a, um, this is what you can expect out of the video or do a teaser, like, watch to the end to get my top, my number one tip on how to increase your visibility on Facebook. Okay, so if you do that, then people are more likely to stay to the end because they're waiting for that number one tip, right? Um, but from what I gather here, for something like Facebook, it is about two minutes. Twitter is 30 seconds for limit for video content. Instagram is, uh, it depends on if you're doing IGTV or if you're doing um, Instagram stories or if you're doing Instagram video, but they say that videos that you're going to post onto your onto your grid should be no longer than 60 seconds. Um, there's just no way to do it any longer than 60 seconds if you, uh, especially if you if you have a business account. For things that are longer than one minute, you have to post up on IGTV etc for YouTube uh, they are they say I think they've said about like two and a half minutes however the thing is why you see a lot of creators creating content that's longer in length on YouTube is because of monetization okay so um, are you guys familiar with monetization on YouTube not me no. okay no. so monetization on YouTube is when you have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within one year then you can apply what's called monetization <laughs> with YouTube. So you can apply to get ads posted up onto your videos, right? And then Avon, not Avon, but um, Google, uh, YouTube would pay you to have those ads playing on your on your videos. So they, the videos that are longer, you can, YouTube likes that as long as people were watching them, because in the middle, you can post up another ad. Right. So that's why creators tend to create a minimum of like 10 minute long videos. Okay. Um, so what kind of money are we talking about? What kind of? Like, I have no clue as to like how much they pay. They would pay you to play an ad if you it, had so many. It can, it all depends because it all depends on how many people watch the ad, the length of the ad, the type of ad, where they're in the world they're watching, um, whether or not they click the ad. I think I said that already. And um, how, how big is your channel? Right. So it could okay. be anything from I mean for a smaller channel it could be you know one dollar per one thousand um one thousand watches 
okay? But there are people who make $18 per 1,000 watch. Oh, like wow. 1,000 okay. video watches. So there are people who make, you know, a good, like, 100, 200, 300, 400 thousand dollars a year from YouTube ads for monetization. Wow. Right? I mean, they have multi million numbers of subscribers, right? But um, yeah, so it is something you can, we can talk more about in another video sometime. Um, I don't believe that it is the sole purpose to create videos for YouTube because if you do that, then you're going to run out of content real quick. It yeah, has to be something you are really honestly, truly passionate about and you love to talk about, right? And the other thing with, with YouTube is that you can eventually get like sponsors and, and things like that. Um, but make sure that they do collaborate well with your brand, right? And, and I'm not, I'm not a, like a brand marketing, like I'm not a marketer, like I don't specialize in that, but just to me, it's common sense. So you wouldn't want to bring on you know, get sponsored by a, a competitive beauty company that's going to compete with your business for Avon, unless that is what you do, where it's like Avon versus blah. But will both companies be happy with that? Mm -hmm. That's what you need to be really careful of. Different types of videos that you can do as well that are apparently trending right now. Um, in the number 10 spot, unboxing videos. I posted up two unboxing videos. People seem to really like it. I've made extra sales from it for my customers watching it, so yay. Um, educational how-to videos, how to uh, how to draw a perfect cut eye, how to mix your lipstick, how to use the new Peony line. Oh my gosh, that Peony skincare line, guys, looks gorgeous. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Um, the favorite best of videos, so like my top five favorite Avon products or my top five Avon fragrances for 2020 or my my five summer must-haves, right? Things like that, okay? Um, can, can, I, or, hmm? can you make a list of these things possibly and post them up so we can... Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll post up this video too. Oh, okay. so you guys can listen to it again. I just need to, I was getting really busy getting ready for Ginevra's birthday. So I, I haven't had time to edit the last couple of days, guys. I'm getting back on schedule. Um, Happy birthday. Pardon? Happy birthday. Thank you. I'll let her know. Um, tag or challenge videos. This is a really great way because they're, they're tag and challenge videos. A lot of them are very trendy. So you also want to make sure you're hashtagging the right hashtags to appear with, within that trend. All right. Haul videos, you know, my, oh my God, my jewelry haul video guys. Okay. I just totaled up her, her invoice, $349. Oh my God. That one video. An eight-minute-long video brought me a three hundred and forty-nine dollar order. Oh, like I was like, oh my god! Like, I've had larger orders than that, but for it to come from one single video from one single client is like so exciting. Thank you, Lisa, if you're watching. I love you. <laughs> I have to watch that when I have it. <laughs> oh, watch it! Watch it! It's fun. It's 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 quite short. Comedy skit videos. TikTok is great for that. If you guys want to get into TikTok, uh, there is one Avon representative. There's two. Jen does some TikTok videos. I haven't seen her do a lot of Avon-related TikTok videos that are kind of funny, but she's done funny ones on TikTok. Um, and then there's another one. I can't remember her name. I think her name is Candice, maybe. Um, but she does a lot of really funny TikTok videos, and she's done one with, like, Avon lipsticks and things like that. And they're all really tastefully done. So, But if your, your joy is to make people laugh, it's, figure out how to incorporate that into your Avon marketing. Right. Uh, game videos. I don't think that applies to us. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't know how we might be able to figure out a way. <gasps> I thought of a way. Okay. I follow this guy named Babish. He creates, he creates food based on TV shows. What if we created makeup looks with Avon makeup based on either TV shows or anime or whatever? Yeah. Just an idea, and we could do like a get ready with me. And it could be one of those like, oh, it either works or it doesn't work. So will it work or will it fail, right? Just an idea, just throwing out ideas. Vlogs, um, you can do, and I think Andrea, this is what you want to do with the vlogs, right? Like a beauty vlogger. Um, it's kind yeah. of talking about your life and things like that. So just making sure that you have that balance, I think it's important. And this is a, a, a mag.octoly.com, yeah, Octoly Magazine. 
Oh, it might be for influencers. I'll keep that. What was the name of that girl that doesn't show her face? Sorry, the page. Do you the remember? little little makeup channel. The little makeup channel. Not the, just little makeup channel. Oh, it's there. Okay. Yeah. How to videos, uh, of course, like how to cat eye, how to da da da, how to da da da. All right. And then, of course, my number one is are the product review videos. That's my that's my big thing. Our product review videos. All right. Now you also have to look at your ROI. Okay, your return on investment. And investment doesn't always necessarily have to be monetary investment. It also is time investment. So what you want to look at is how much time are you putting into it and what are you getting out of it? For the first while for videos, guys, it might not have a lot of outcome, especially if you have low visibility and you have to increase your visibility with using, like, by sharing on different social media platforms. Now, um, I noticed that, for example, my beauty review videos, although people love them, I don't get as much turnout for them as I do with my team meeting videos. I've gotten more and more representatives signing up because my my big my main focus is always going to be leadership training and mentoring, okay? But I've had more people coming into the business to become business partners because of the team videos lately than the beauty videos. So I'm going to keep doing the beauty videos. I will keep doing the beauty videos because they are really helpful and it helps me also to learn about the products. But I know that okay, even though I see low viewership from my um, team videos, I'm still getting good turnout for that. So always measure your ROI and know that the beginning, it might take a while to build that momentum. But the most important thing is send those out very consistently. That's my whole spiel, guys. <laughs> we have a minute and a half. Anything else you guys want to quickly add? What you were just saying there about your team videos, like when you post up our team videos, people watch them and then they join you? Yeah. Yeah, that or like my you know, save money on Canada Post, uh, Facebook help, how to create a Facebook business page, how to personalize your e-store link, things like that. Yeah. I so it aim and there's tons of stuff about you. Right. Oh, yay, that's good. See, that's what you want though. That's increasing your visibility. So my visibility, it needs to be hashtag Jessica Yik, hashtag Jessica Yee, because some of my, most of my friends know me as Jessica Yee from before I got married, and then hashtag the Dancing Avon Lady. And now hashtag okay. Yik's Are Us. That goes on Google when you do that? Like all those go there? Uh, I don't know. Maybe some, something will go there. But just all of my posts, I hashtag myself. Okay. Right. Good to right. know. Because I'm creating that brand. Right. And I'm trying to create that visibility and that, that awareness. My brand is Yixar Us, which is my family life, and the Dancing Avon Lady. That's my brand. Okay. I didn't know you should hashtag every time I don't usually oh. do. Hashtags, hashtags is the way that you're, you're found, like for a lot of the platforms. It's keywords and hashtags. Even and in not, public not, I'm still learning. Sorry that I cut off, guys. We just had so much good information to share and I ran out of time on Zoom. So thank you so much for joining today on our team meeting, focusing on using videos to increase your business. You guys shared so much amazing information. So I thank you for that and thank you for taking the time to invest in your business. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you're not yet a beauty boss and you're interested in opening up your own online Avon business, make sure you do go to my Easter link down below and click that join Avon button and we are here to mentor you along the way. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next one. Bye.